December 1942. And if you happen to be a soldier in the German 6th Army, it was not a particularly Merry Christmas for you. By this time, the 6th Army had been surrounded at Stalingrad for the better part of a month. Ammo, fuel, and importantly, food was in extremely short supply. But your Uncle Adolf has you covered. This here is a reproduction of a Wehrmacht special Christmas ration from 1942. The two cans of Shaka Cola are not related to this ration, but we're gonna take a look at them today anyway. It's a supplemental ration. It's not meant to be a full meal. It was supposed to be a special treat to brighten your Christmas spirit. Let's crack it open and see what we got. Deli drops, these are similar to lifesavers. Maggie Zupin, two teller tomaten. Looks like we got two servings of tomato soup here. Deutscher Tea. This package here will make a liter of tea. Edel Wollmilch chocolate bar. A welcome treat for a grenadier in Stalingrad, no doubt. A postcard. Now this is funny. Freulich Weihnachten und New Year's Gruß, Happy New Year, auf Russland from Russia, 1942. This is a blank postcard for a soldier to write a quick note home. Very unlikely that any soldier in Stalingrad who took the time to write his family a postcard, it's very unlikely that they received it after the encirclement in November. We have an eight gram package of Airsats coffee, Cafe Airsats. This is fake coffee. I don't know, some people think it's made of chicory. I personally think it's from Bran. Crystal Sustoff Saccharin, Wehrmacht's Packung. This would have been a luxury item, sugar substitute. And we have a candle. I guess you use the candle to create a little bit of light so you can write your postcard home. Very interesting item. MREs are expensive, so if you are able to and you would like to support the channel, there's a buy me a coffee link below in the description. I greatly appreciate your support. Thank you very much to all of those of you who have gone that extra mile and kicked in a coffee here and there. You are most appreciated. All right, we got some hot water here. So let's get the Airsats coffee on the go. I've tasted this Airsats coffee before black, but I've never had it with sugar substitute in it. I'm interested to see. Let's give it a whirl. It's not particularly sweet. Surprising, that much artificial sweetener I thought would have really brought the sweetness up, but not so much. It definitely improved the flavor over this stuff when it's black, but it ain't that great. Let's move on to this miniature milk chocolate bar. The Grosskampfpacken, Germany's copy K-ration from World War II, also contains a chocolate bar that is utterly foul. This looks more interesting. Nice little chunk there. Smells like nice milk chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that is a nice treat right there. Very sweet milk chocolate. Nice, smooth, rich, creamy aftertaste. Good high quality stuff. A really nice item for something that's supposed to be a special treat for Christmas. I like. That would definitely be a nice treat for a grenadier in Stalingrad if he could get his hands on one of these. The likelihood is the small numbers of these that were able to come in on those Junkers supply planes were very likely hoarded by the supply troops and by senior officers. There's a really interesting scene in the 1993 German language Stalingrad movie where the main characters late in the encirclement after shooting one of their officers stumble on the officer's quarters where in the basement they have an enormous hoard of supplies of everything from food, 
booze, medical supplies, you name it. A gramophone and records, everything you need to have a nice, pleasant experience in Stalingrad while everybody else was starving to death. Something tells me there is definitely a kernel of truth to that. Inasmuch as the supply planes were not able to bring in enough to supply the 6th Army, I have the feeling what they did bring in did not make it where it needed to go. So, so far this Christmas ration is turning out to be a nice treat. Nice chocolate, nice coffee. Let's move on and get that tea and that soup on the go. Looks like there's enough tea in here to make a liter. I'm gonna try one spoonful and eight ounces of water and see how it turns out, but this is really cool. Oh, this stuff looks like weed. I have no idea if this is black tea, green tea, green tea, or whatever. I'm interested to find out. All right, so we'll let that steep for a few minutes, and while it's doing that, let's get the soup on the go. I am very eager to see what this looks like. Put that in the uh, boiling water and let it do its thing. While the soup and the tea are doing their thing, this strikes me as an excellent
and sweetened with sugar, not artificial stuff. Natural sweetness, but not overly sweet. There's definitely fruit flavors there, but I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Probably strawberry. This comes from a German chocolate manufacturer, Deli Schokoladenwerk. It's a great item as a treat for a soldier. Perfect pogey bait for a supplemental ration like this that's really just designed to be a morale lift, not actually feed you. Last but not least, we have this candle, which again, I assume is uh, intended to give you a little bit of light to write your postcard home with. I'm not going to light it in the house because... Frankly, it smells terrible. Um, it looks kind of just greasy and gross, like it's a... I don't think that's a beeswax candle. It's probably more likely beef tallow or something. It smells very bad. Why they would include this in a Christmas ration, I don't know, unless it's just the ambiance of, of having a candle on Christmas or something like that. You know, now that I think about it, I think back to my time in Germany, there was a day during the Christmas season, not Christmas itself, but there was a some sort of like a festival of lights in December that went along with Christmas. I can't remember the name of it. A very bad idea to light this in Stalingrad or any place else for that matter, because you'll make yourself a target for artillery and mortars, but I guess something a, a soldier could use in their kit. So what can I say about the Wehrmacht special Christmas ration? If I was a soldier and somebody handed me that, I would say thank you very much, because it was definitely a change of pace, a little different than the norm, some different items that you didn't get every day, and a little bit of sugar. I think probably the original version of this also contained some cigarettes, which would have been lovely to have. It's not a ration. It's not gonna feed you. It's just a little supplement to give you a little bit of a treat. And again, when you're a soldier in combat, you don't have that much to look forward to. This kind of thing, really can make a big difference in your morale. So if you'd like to see some other German World War II rations, check out these two videos here. Please make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time. Peace!